I'm Clint Grover with Never Done Industries, and today we're going to check the carbon monoxide levels on the Never Done Super Duty. Alright, so you might be wondering why are we checking the carbon monoxide levels on the Super Duty? Well, recently I swear that I can smell exhaust fumes inside of the vehicle when I'm driving it. Particularly it's winter, it's the end of winter right now here in Idaho. Uh, and in the mornings I, I typically warm my vehicle up uh, before I leave. And I swear I can freaking smell exhaust in there. I've taken it to a couple of exhaust shops. They've checked it all over. They say there's no exhaust anywhere. It cannot be. And so I am going to check it myself with this thingy this cool little magic wand tool uh, what it does is it checks for different levels of different things carbon monoxide being one of them so first thing I've got to do is I've got to get this thing fired up and calibrated it's got to calibrate to the the outside air here so while that is firing up and I'll show you guys kind of you know what what's going on here whatever once we get it going but while that thing's warming up, here's what the plan is going to be. So like I said, I swear I can smell it inside of the cabin. So what we're going to do, it's cold, it's been sitting all night. We're going to get inside of the truck, we're going to do a cold start on it, uh, and we're going to put the little sniffer thing in front of the vents. We're going to turn the heat on uh, with the normal heat, and then we're also going to set it for the recirculating heat. Uh, I'll show you that once we get in there. Uh, and then we're going to pop the hood, see if there's any exhaust around underneath the hood uh, that could possibly be coming up and getting sucked in uh, through our, our vents. Uh, and then we're going to kind of check around the truck, and then we'll check uh, back you know, by the exhaust and kind of get a good idea of what uh, a high amount would be and so that you guys know while we're on that subject uh, a dangerous level anything up up above uh, 50 parts per million uh, is dangerous anything over a hundred is like super dangerous lethal bad news right all right here we are inside of the truck we are ready to commence our testing we have the cool guy thing if you look there you can see that it has a few different reading uh, things on it. It's got what the oxygen is. This is the one we're gonna be interested in, the parts per million of uh, carbon monoxide, CO, okay? And for a fair comparison, we have the standard house uh, carbon monoxide slash smoke detector. So we'll see if this dude even goes off at all. I already have a, a suspicion, but we'll see. So cold start, here we go. We're going to go, I'm going to close the other vents. We're going to come straight out of this vent right here. And we're going to turn it on to heat. And we're going to blow right into this dude, okay? So you ready? So keep an eye right here. We're going to turn on the heat. Set to 90. Turn the fan all the way up. And let's see what we get. Boy, that's exciting. It's not giving us anything. Let's get it in there more. We have 20.9% oxygen, which is the same as what we had outside. Right now, we don't even have a low reading of anything, so that's good. At the same time, we'll hold the household meter into the airstream. So, so far, this looks like it's uh, not going to be terribly productive. So, what we're going to do is we're going to let it run for a couple of minutes and then we're going to come right back. So, we've been running about five minutes and so far, so good. <laughs> Just kidding. So, basically, uh, I'm full of crap and there is no carbon monoxide at all inside of my cabin right now and I'm just smelling things so we're going to uh, walk around and check it all out and then we are going to go for a drive and see if it uh, produces results while I'm driving all right let's go outside and check it out Okay, let's see what we got. It's gonna be kind of tricky. I'm gonna to have to kind of show you guys as I go. So that's zero. Z 
zero. Let's go down here by the air box. Ooh, one, zero, one, zero. Basically none. Remember, 50, anything above 50 was bad. Let's go over here and check it out. We'll go down by the exhaust manifold a little tiny bit, not really close. I don't want to mess up the sensor on this thing. Zero. See, we're still, I'll turn that on so you can see it. Well, apparently it doesn't want to turn on, it did before. Zero. All right, let's go walk around the truck and see what's up. And I'm gonna show you guys why I think I can smell this. So come over here and listen right here. You've probably heard this in my other videos. You hear that? That's what I think is an exhaust leak. The uh, exhaust shops tell me it's definitely not the exhaust that's leaking and that it's an engine noise. The problem with that is that I've used my stethoscope all over the engine, I can't find the noise. So let's stick this bad dog in there See what we got. We are at zero. I don't know if you guys can see that. We'll pull it out and show you. Zero. Right now my theory of uh, getting carbon monoxide poisoning is kind of getting shot all to crap. Yeah, there's totally, literally no exhaust at all under there. So, let's go along. None. Now this has a dual exhaust that exit out the side on the back. So I'll just keep going until it actually registers something. We're still at zero. Just kidding, it doesn't make that noise. Okay, now we're right here, here's the exhaust. I don't wanna get close to it because I don't want to mess up the thing, but we'll get like here where it can actually see some. Oh, one, two, we've got two, four. The wind is kind of messing with it a little bit. So apparently this truck uh, burns very, very efficiently because right now we only have six parts per million, eight, nine, ten, there we go, 11, 12, she's rocking, she's rocking, 18, 20, 21, 22, uh-oh, hazardous, hazardous, you see our oxygen levels going down too, was it 20.9, so now we're getting up into bad news range, now the wind just changed the direction, so it kind of stopped, uh, you know, getting the exhaust into here, into the sensor, but, Let's go around to the other side here and see, because the wind won't be blocking us so bad. Oh, now the wind's going the other way over here. <laughs> yeah. 22, oh, hazard, 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 41, 51, 59, 68, 75. That's where you die. That's why you don't breathe exhaust, ladies and gentlemen. And that is absolutely why I was so concerned about smelling exhaust inside of the cabin because I don't want to die from it, right? So now that we know that you get a ton of exhaust, uh, carbon monoxide out of the exhaust rather, uh, let's do a quick test. Let me go grab the little uh, home one and hold it down here and see what it does. We know for sure there's carbon monoxide there, right? The cool guy one just told us, so I'll go grab that. Okay, here we are. This is the one you got hanging up on your wall at home. And this one, I don't really care if the sensor gets messed up in it or not. So we're gonna go right in it. Right in the danger zone. Now this is way closer than I had the other sensor, so it's getting way, 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 way more, right? And it's totally not going off. That's bad. Imagine if you were uh, hanging out in your house and you had this much carbon monoxide and it wasn't going off. 
that's bad. Now you might be saying, well Clint, but maybe the battery's dead. Well, it's a brand new monitor and there's the test. Ooh, that's loud. Sorry. Beep, beep. Okay, anyway, so yeah, it works. That's still the test. Ooh, maybe it's sensing some. Anyway, yeah, so probably don't rely on one of these inside of your vehicle to measure whether or not you've got carbon monoxide problems. Uh, I actually have tested this before, so I knew it wasn't going to work. Uh, they say that you have to have a prolonged exposure of at least like 14 minutes or something of high levels of carbon monoxide. Well, if you're inside your vehicle, you don't want high levels of carbon monoxide for 14 minutes. So now we're going to, now that we've walked around the vehicle, we kind of know where we're at. Uh, I still think I can smell it when I'm driving, and so we're going to go drive the truck, and we're going to use the Cool Guy one, and we're going to see if, in fact, when there's pressure on the vehicle from the wind going by, if it actually does put any exhaust into the cabin. Let's go for a drive. Now the truck's been uh, running for about 10 minutes. Uh, we still have zero, well one, zero, between zero and one ppm of carbon monoxide. But just a little fun fact for you guys, when you breathe out, you breathe out carbon dioxide. So let me show you since we got the cool, cool guy tool out right now. Warning! <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Oxygen's down. That's danger zone. It's got to be 20.9. That's fun. You can also uh, fart in it and it does it too, I heard. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go for a drive. We're going to go this way. And we're going to keep a close eye on this freaking sensor because I'll tell you, I know I smell it. I know it. Even if this thing doesn't, well, if this thing doesn't smell it, it just isn't there. That's the reality of it. But All right, so right now, we're still at freaking zero and one, which is basically none at all. Sorry about the rattling. There's uh, some chance that I have uh, driven excitedly in this truck and messed everything up. Okay, so we're getting no reading at all which means that there's not any. So let's change something. Let's change it from just the incoming air to recirculating air, which is this button right here, because it recirculates through the cabin. So we'll recirculate it and see if that changes anything. Probably not. Right now we're cruising at about 25 miles an hour because it's a bumpy gravel road. We can do better than that, right? Let's go fast. Whee! Okay, now we're going 40, which is too fast for this road in Mexico. <laughs> we're in Mexico while we're going fast. Okay. We still got freaking nothing. What is this? I don't smell anything actually right now. There's a chance that it was just all in my head like a pretty good chance but to be fair I did have uh, the uh, the exhaust manifold I warped it because I was hot rodding the hell out of the truck and way 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 overheated it and I warped the exhaust manifold like a month or so ago and it definitely was leaking then but that has since been machined flat and taken care of so that's not a problem anymore uh, when you go over bumps, you got to do that. Uh, now, now there's no bumps. I just look like an idiot. Okay, so we're still at nothing. So now I'm going to turn it to defrost, since that's what I have it on in the mornings when I'm driving. I'm going to put it right up there. Yeah. I'm going to try to hold it still, which is hard because I'm on a bumpy ass road. And we're back in Idaho since I'm going the speed limit. Hey, there's pavement. We can go faster on that. 
So we still have absolutely no like problems whatsoever. This vehicle is basically I could put a green leaf on the inside of it because it's so green and pure and healthy. There's probably salad growing in here somewhere. <laughs> okay, so now we're on the paved road. Let's go fast. Whee! Oof! Shift! Yes, power! We still have no carbon monoxide whatsoever. This is bull crap. I think that uh, it's probably safe to say that there's just not any carbon monoxide inside of my truck, uh, whether I'm warming it up or uh, driving it. And so I suppose that the results are conclusive enough that we can say thank you very much for watching. If you have anything you'd like to say, please comment below. Don't forget to like the video. Please subscribe. If you'd like to get some Never Done gear, the shirts, the hats, we got a whole bunch of cool guy stuff, check out the website, neverdoneusa.com. Thank you. We'll catch you on the next one.